Our latest KMC Sports Standout Performer of the Week, presented by f and Bank, is Hannah Cantwell, the senior West Delaware volleyball player. 18 kills in that match the other night against Solon as the third-ranked Hawks took down the 11th-ranked Spartans by the uh, final score of 3-1. to one. As uh, Hannah, what an effort uh, by you in that uh, match. You've probably never had something like that before where you were just dominant with 18 kills. How'd that feel? Everything was just finding its way to the floor. It was definitely just an amazing experience, like being able to trust myself and have confidence in myself and be able to like reach out and give that confidence and trust to the, my teammates around me so that they can play to their highest potential as well. That's great. A lot of great players give uh, compliments and credit to their teammates, of course, and that's not lost upon you. And uh, what do you like about the sport of volleyball? I'm assuming it's your favorite sport. It is my favorite sport. And just one of the things that really like resonates in my heart is just like the family atmosphere that volleyball creates because you're with your team like 24 7 pretty much like right now the only time my teammates and i don't see each other is on sundays and just like cheering together going through the ups together going through the downs together everything really brings you a part of it and just getting close to girls like that is really a warm feeling in my heart. Indeed, and uh, being a part of this uh, West Delaware Volleyball program, there's some pressure on you, of course, high expectations, but you put those on yourself too because of what teams before you have done and what Coach Mather's done here, the success he's had with this program. Uh, talk about that, that aspect of it. And how much do you as a person uh, think about it? Um, for sure, there's definitely pressure. I mean, like pressure to perform, pressure to, you know, go out there and get results. But um, one thing that Mather says and that we try to keep in our team is like, it's not about the results, it's about the process, you know, what you're doing on your way to get there and stuff. Like you have goals, you have outcome goals, but we also want process goals and getting better and growing as people and as teammates and as players as well. Indeed, only a, a couple of regular season matches to go before the uh, WAMAC Conference Tournament and then postseason play will be here before you know it. This season's really uh, flown right by. We're already in the second month of it. Uh, talk about uh, what's in store for your team here and uh, of course the hopes and the goals in the next month or so. So yeah, it's totally flown by. It's so sad that like senior night was just Tuesday and like last time playing in Cedar Gymnasium, which is sad, but um, we really are working towards, you know, the process of um, making it to state because we haven't qualified in the past two years. So that's one of our big goals on our board in there. Actually, we flip it for practice. We have, you know, qualify for state. Then, of course, we have like pink t-shirt, um, be ranked in the, like get a good seed and in going into postseason yeah. and stuff like that. And so we have those reminders that are just showing like what we're working for, what we're driving for. And so we can keep those in mind throughout practice. Indeed. What has this program uh, and Coach Mather and the coaching staff taught you uh, personally, uh, life-wise and besides sports-wise? It really teaches you some life lessons too, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It really teaches you that like, for sure this season that like, just because you make one mistake doesn't mean you have to keep making mistakes. Like one mistake, it's just a mistake. You can wash that off and you can go out there and get the next point. So it's the same thing in life. If you make a mistake in life, there's always the next day or even the next hour and the next minute where you can go and make a positive impact and turn that mistake into a positive and just keep going with that. Everything. Well said indeed. All right, let's get to know Hannah Cantwell, our latest Game Chase Sports Standout Performer of the Week, a little better uh, off the uh, volleyball court. Your favorite food? My favorite food is definitely pot stickers. Oh, pot stickers, yeah. <laughs> yep, just from a restaurant, from like the Walmart <laughs> freezer section. Yeah. Me and my sister go through those like crazy. <laughs> That's great. Uh, you don't hear that very much from people, but uh, yeah, definitely a, a good thing to have. Uh, a good snack, good for a meal as well. Uh, talk about your favorite kind of music. Um, my favorite kind of music is like 90s hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> nice, throwing it back. Yeah, like I like What's TLC. your favorite kind of that TLC? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so what gets you pumped up for a match? Would you, you love uh, Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls for a match? Or yes, do you prefer... <laughs> for sure. <laughs> so, that really gets me going and like say my name and uh -huh. all that stuff. <laughs> That's where that came from the other night uh, <laughs> yeah. that, that Coach Mather was uh, rumored to have been singing. He denies it all, of course. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, favorite sports movie or favorite movie in general? Um, my favorite movie is Where the Crawdads Sing. Okay. Um, it's about like a girl who lives in the marsh who gets 
um, misconceived as like the spooky, scary, witchy girl, but she's really just sweet and cares about like the environment and stuff like that. Gotcha. Uh, favorite things you do outside of volleyball and, and sports, hobbies and interests? Um, well, I love painting and crafting and all that sort of stuff. Like my mom calls me a grandma because I have like a <laughs> sewing machine and I sew and all that sort of stuff. That'll help you in the long run. Yeah, but for sure painting is like my de-stressor, my way to cope and get away from school and even volleyball and just relax and be myself. Favorite quote you live by or you play sports by? Um, for sure, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger because going through life there's going to be setbacks and stuff, but if it doesn't kill you, you'll come out stronger on the other side of it. Indeed. Role models? Um, for sure, my mom. She's been through so much. I mean, her parents died when she was younger, and she's been the oldest. She's the oldest child like me, and so she's had to like pick up her family and hold her family together. And she's just such a strong person, and I admire that so much. That's great. And uh, future plans? You're in your senior year here, and you have things pretty much mapped out. Yep. So I'm going to Cornell College to continue my volleyball career under Jeff Meeker and Cindy Meeker, and then I'll be studying elementary education. Fantastic. All right. Great to talk to you here, uh, Hannah, and uh, best of luck in the next uh, month or so in your final days as a West Delaware volleyball player. Our latest KMCH Sports Standout Performer of the Week presented by FNM Bank here from KMCH Sports.